Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Today I'm here with another crypto project, but this time in the gaming sector. Now, as you know, the bull run is currently going on. And so I want to give you guys really innovative, cool projects that you guys can look into and research yourselves. I find these through Telegram, through chatter in the community, or whatever I'm reading online. And I sort of decide based on that on the project I present to you guys. This video is not sponsored, by the way. So today's project is Gaiman, and Gaiman is a really innovative gaming infrastructure project that is going to really revolutionize the gaming industry. Look, ever since the rise of the Web3 revolution, gaming and Web3 have pretty much gone hand in hand. You can take a look right now on Gaiman's website, but basically you can play games and earn rewards. But what's really unique about this project is that Gaiman wants to create the world's first decentralized gaming supercomputer. So they're going to basically use the power of used or underused computational power from gaming laptops and computers. I mean, this concept is really behind their revenue generation, which I'm going to show you here. So they're making revenue through monetization through the Gaiman Cloud. Now, this is really cool. This is what I was talking about. Gaiman Cloud monetizes the computational resources found in gaming computers because gaming computers usually have higher processing power than normal computers, you know, to be able to play those really super graphic filled games on them. And yeah, so Gaiman receives a payment for processing services and they get returns up to 90% of the revenue received back to the users participating in the Gaiman data processing network. So they have a really cool revenue model. That's just one of the ways. The others are through the Gaiman Games Launcher and the Gaiman Gladiators and their Gaiman Marketplace. By the way, guys, you can download the Gaiman platform directly from their website, as you can click here, download for Windows, and you can basically access all of their Web3 and Web2 games. This is very cool, by the way, guys. They have new games launching all the time. Now, I know a lot of people love sports. I know my fiance loves sports. So the gaming community has a Gaming Gladiators esports team. So this sort of helps build loyalty and that sort of fan base because you know how sports fans can be. I mean, I don't get it, but you do you, boo. <laughs> Another really cool thing is that they have this watch to earn concept where you can watch Twitch videos and earn rewards. So this Twitch streaming that you can watch and earn rewards with is integrated into Gaiman's streaming sort of protocol that they've got. Now look, Web3 and Gaiman have this ethos and that's what I love about this project and that is that it's truly interoperable, it's cross game and they have utility assets within the game. So I'm talking things like NFTs, you can sell them in the game and marketplace. So that is very cool. And that's all in their platform. And the thing is, they have industry leading partners. We have BNB chain, which is huge. We've got Gamebit, Venly, MuleSoft, Snack Club, and YGG SEA. But the main one that I'm very impressed about, which you guys probably are as well, is BNB chain being an industry partner, which is very important if you have an industry partner backing you and you're a new project. So setup is super easy, download the app. And by the way, I see that they do this on Windows. That's because a lot of gaming laptops tend to use Windows. And I have a friend who has a gaming computer and he was just like, oh, it's a gaming computer. It's a gaming computer. It's got higher processing power. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> um, but he could really benefit from this. Um, so yeah, you can download the app and then you set up your wallet, play your favorite games, earn your rewards. You can trade the rewards or whatever on their marketplace as well. Now we all know the Web3 gaming industry has been growing rapidly and there's such a huge demand for it. So to meet that increasing demand, Gaming is planning to step in. So we have people that are wanting more Web3 games or NFT marketplaces or new games being launched. Well, Gaming is giving all of that. They have their game launcher. As I mentioned, they have their game and marketplace and they have a plethora of Web3 and Web2 games with Web3 integrations. Now, I'm just gonna summarize why I'm bullish. Number one, Gaiman generates revenues from multiple different sources. I've linked the revenue business model down below in the description box. Number two, Gaiman has key partnerships. One of the biggest is BNB Chain. 
Number three, and this is really key, but Gaiman also owns one of the world's top five esport organizations known as Gaiman Gladiators. And they can use this as their flagship marketing and bring on millions of users from that organization on board. So yeah, harnessing that and bringing on millions of gamers, that's a win. And remember guys, Web3 is also about inclusivity and that's what gaming is establishing. They want to bring in more people into Web3 gaming and then ownership of their assets. So when you earn in-game assets, NFTs, rewards, cryptocurrencies, etc. And then lastly, oh my gosh, using the untapped power of gaming laptops of users, that part of the business model is very unique to me. Remember that concept was where they will send data processing jobs to people that are participating in the gaming network and they can use their laptops or computers to do this. And then when gaming receives the payment for these processing services, they give 90% back to the community. So they give 90% of revenue back to users participating in that gaming data processing network. Also guys, the native token name is GMRX. You can see it on CoinMarketCap, but there's loads of places you can buy it. There's KuCoin, Gate.io, Bybit, BitGet, and CoinX. So right now the gaming price uh, is incredibly low compared to the all-time high. So the next time we see a rally in this particular stock, so that will be driven by the community, the bull run, and all the different factors, definitely we can see from where we're at like a a 10x minimum but again that will depend on when the influx comes into the community when they launch new partnerships and when there is more mass momentum in the community and again that takes time so they are aiming to get there so yeah guys i think that's my overview on gaming follow them on twitter follow their um, all their socials i'll link them all down below in the description box and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're a gamer then you should definitely check this out if you're not and you want to just earn money through playing games because why not earn rewards when you are playing a game because that's fun um then yeah this is also for you if you did like this video hit that like button and that subscribe button and remember guys none of this is financial advice i am literally sharing core new projects that i discover and my opinions on them uh, remember cryptocurrency assets are highly volatile and when you invest you've got to invest and proceed with caution because the markets do go up and down a lot and your capital is at risk. And yeah, I'm not a financial advisor, so you've also got to do your own research. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and leave a comment down below if you have used gaming because I'd love to know. Bye guys.